stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. <laughs> ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shane. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. Oh, saucy creature. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We are out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Ugh! You irresponsible wretch! I will teach you some manners, boy. I will teach you some manners, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates now, you built rat? Not bad. Talk before I bash out your brains! Keep 
We will find them and let Keep them Keep an eye on that! The pals are still out there somewhere! Here he goes again. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell of shit. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, come now. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. My ship! Seriously, false shit! They will sink her! Let's put the Morgan to the... Ready for battle, man. All sail, shall take it. Enemy heading for us, sir! Bring British vessels! They seem to stop them, boy! Douse the top, sir! Fire! Hold the flanks! Wait in order, sir! Fire! The tearing her to pieces! Do something! Don't ever need to say. Right. 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 
vessel is not already off the road. We will return to what is left of your gift pool. It's a long way home, and we have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Emergency. Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay- This is not a test. We repeat, this is not- What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But- With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Wireless signal? Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Atomus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. 
You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. restore your co-workers workstations if you you know feel like being helpful and you could in theory find some more digital goodies if you you know feel like being sneaky <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port au Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left. The Wally looked worried. I, I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And will continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, 
What's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You can take your time, but not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hit targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What are we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Nicely done. I am surprised. Hide in it, and surprise your target when he gets close. Surprise your target when he gets close. I saw you. You have no reason to be sniffing about here. Take the high ground, Shay. Dispatching from the air is most effective. You certainly know how to handle yourself. <laughs> Top form, Shay. Hmm. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Uh. 
Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. Keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templars as far as this coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. One lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasks you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall, Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? <laughs> Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. 
You're much more than earnest trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. So he's known about the pieces of Eden, and of course he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course? Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favourite son. Connor's his favourite, and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house. But you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Get up, Jack John, sit down. Come along, come along. We shall have brave boys and plenty more grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly roving car. Pulling Jack is worn and weather beat too old to... Cruise up that. Oh, let him stop be in some it. rum shop till he tells Paul. Some sort of cargo the there, sir. And high, and now you'll try. Oh, Thank you. Incoming ship. They're giving chase. We're clear, Captain. Go there by the rigging. British vessels. They're all alone, sir. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we meet? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much.
There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Let's not be too haste. She's gonna found cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Sight. I say this is a good day to light in King George's presence. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Be careful, Captain. On the road, sir. Brief the top sails and gallants. We've been hit. Fire! Ready to fire. Shot to stop her escape. Want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. Tops, gallants, royal studs. Fall down and blew up. Ready for your trip to hell. Price, Price. Price. Cormac at the helm. I'll beat you. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. It's a shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the citizens. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. anti you shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. There's Percy, Shay. Small city. It's the place. Nothing but fishermen and their gear. Per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Free! Shark no sail! You'll turn in the ship, Captain!
What's on your mind, Captain? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Captain! We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. Your chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ones. ships! Oh, they're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. This cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Antipas. What say you? You sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. far from Anticosti Island now. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope Le Chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And yeah, maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason. Mind you, you want to the of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it. The temperate stick to this continent like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. It seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdered bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. We have nothing in common with that, of course. It's the iceberg! Crowd it all on! There it is! Artie Custy! The 
chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Struggle, Captain Cormac. Trim the yards off the wind. Can't be far now, Captain. That's all safe. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our tanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Those tops, those gallants and royals. Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. Should be nearby, Captain. There. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? 
I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Loose sail! Put out all she'll take! A blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Stunsel's in! Clue up gallants! Hold them in! Get off the way! And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye.
What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where you are. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts.
need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. In my sight, near as well there. <laughs> I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. How marvelous! I wish my little daughter could see this. Those fireworks are truly impressive, I must say. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Stop where you stand! Damn it! I better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. I've got a clear shot! Is 
Is that a shit mortar? That's not sporting! Stay back if you know what's Stay on him! Lawrence Washington is dead. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. Two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, they didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Then, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ramp cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails his very waters. There he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. 
Our target's a smart one. And out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the death of the treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? Came out of the way. Why have you trusted the precursor box to him? He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship and force him to beach. Straight to the deep! Simpleton! You will destroy the box! Look at him! He's cut him through the ice! It's not a game, Kevin Farmer! It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Fire! Fire! Lord, but here! It worked! The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. Move into an ambush. Halfway you see Diablo Smith must not escape. Hold tight! They're too close, sir! Mate out! Let's go! See Smith's ship. There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your demise. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, shake. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Yes, take it here! Now we know where he was headed. Barsard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this.
damned assassin! You will regret this! Think about what you're doing, assassin! Your brotherhood is using you! Cannot be. No. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. Since you eliminated him, James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Well, he's a trader and was colonel of the warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's never heard of him. Where is your commander? I want a word with him. Let me just see if I can find him, sir. be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant her colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped.
can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrum. to let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. To let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit. 
suit his own purposes. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Now, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Oh. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated nowadays. Yes. Yes. The army will melt it down and turn it into weapons. You know where the warehouse is, soldier. Aye, sir.
Is that the last of it? Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Better hurry back to Franklin. Goodness, uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Sort clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. 
pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. Uotivi oferimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis diet potus spiritalis. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Gratia Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, et Caritas Dei, et Comunicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit cum optimus vobis. Et cum spiritu. Et sancti tui benedicant tibi. Amen.
it. The precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact. to do with this.
There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing, exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> You heard the man. Let's move. Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. 
Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who she is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre Dame. Seamus be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. cette fois Shit What happened That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. I'm bored. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. Shit! I forgot! The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You all right? Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. 
I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Alina's cystic fibrosis. How's that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? This pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Great job, Nuskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well, if you need to stretch your legs in between anime sessions. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I, I hate to have been a burden. See? 
He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? Oh! What's going on? You wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh! Leave her alone! Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon's citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Uh, what are you 
waiting for. Kill him! Ready to take him down? Don't make it difficult for yourself. Don't make this difficult for yourselves. will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here, reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern. Merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. 
He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please, tell Master Gist to join me there. Do you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame. to the same gang who made trouble for the Finnegans.
Christopher Guest. I'm Shay Cormac. Sir! But what are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? The Colonel sent me. Aha! I saw the man. over there. He'll pay for the trouble he just caused. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's the Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere. And most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find... In case you have to leave, okay.
business aloft. Down. <laughs> She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It's a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. on your mind, Captain. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? 
It is an economic incursion more than a geographic. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. Not so, Could be valuable. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Or is it whiskey? Now, why do you say that? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our land. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Honey, I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Some cargo Money is a means to here, an sir. end. Not an end in and of itself. Sends you. I think it's a fine end Get to a game of cards. Out. Not far now, Captain. Hold down, it flew up. Let the anchor go! Donc je me suis enrôlé pour une autre année. Vraiment Attends, c'était quoi ça Vous avez entendu ça Je crois que ça vient de là-bas. Arrête-toi Attention, bon 
Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go to your cabin to arrange the work.
tremble before them, Morrigan. Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. There's our target, Shay! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel says! Taking, sir. Get off the squad. Pull in sail. Crowd it all on. Douse the garlands and royals.
chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chassar. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me. at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you.
I see you now, Tully! Thank you! <laughs> It is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill you. But not my first target. Be careful. We understand that the agreements are All the better. system.
guard have no patience for bad weapons. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. He just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassins sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe.
Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncalm. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncalm. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. the last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard him. Damn, frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty. In your life. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. And for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you have to me has paid, would you say? Perhaps. Cover! Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. 
Very well. I will lead my men around soon. Him in my sights. Uh, I have a Thank <laughs> you. 
Kasegawase will not relent. Kasegawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this.
have got a good line on him. Ready to take it down. <clears throat> This way! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Bonaquaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life is an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript... Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Segawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. Give me some speed! Loose the mains! Half sails! Three! Short no sail! Full sail! Oh, 
Arabe. Il nous faut plus de canons. J'ai bien cru que j'allais y passer. What's in the cave? Keep 
trying to blend in. Well, you fail miserably at it, Thunderhead. Keep dreaming, you foolish earth. <laughs> now you die. <laughs> How do I get into that cave? As long as we hold the old woman hostage, these Ornado will not help the English.
Stop! Let's have a word, Doc. <laughs> you play what you put up. I need a challenge. Venerable one, my name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, Venerable One. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Get the maid sails into the wind! Crowd it all on! Haul in the stunts! Clue up! Clue up! Keep her safe while I'm gone, guest. Aye, Captain. Man, he's bound to tire. No one gets past. We are bound to cross another. 
I should have gone to the fort. This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kasegawas. You well, traitor! Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? The colonel was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. Undesirable element. Put 
out the flames before the fire spreads! The Colonel! He's trapped inside! Help! Save the Colonel! Ugh. Ugh. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far. <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Jay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. I've left your backwater colony. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But... What are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Oh, 
Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Hmm. Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damned sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lübeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the chance. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen. The Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall. 
Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Excursion Predator. That's one. How fortunate he is that we have the priorities. Great. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Predator! That one. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Foundering! They are foundering! That's got them! 
Ready those mortars, Shay. Another wave of fire ships, Captain! Fill the main! Fire! I believe my headway is correct, Captain. But most advantageous right now. Ready to fire, sir! Fire! Throw it all on! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Bait out! Let's go! Reef the floor, mate! Pull in the topsails! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Give me some speed! Come on! Spread those sheets! Asmodes! Saints for service! What is that to be here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. 
Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of that Elfrin? That wasn't the real way. We can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? Find the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye. We need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Trim us off the wind! I'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. To keep the Morrigan close, Gist. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close. And I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal, Chief. Getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. No, son! 
was made. Mortars incoming, sir! Fire! Get them aloft! That's all safe! Fire! Fire! Damage report! Taking damage here! Fire! She's weakest right now! They're too fortunate it is. Man of War can't follow us anymore. Away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Admiral Marley is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most of you. Find those barges. And we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. She has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. It is. Man of War can't follow us anymore. Watch a burn! Wally won't be able to get out. 
His ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. I will take the high ground and provide a distraction. Find another way. Yeah. Go after him, Shay. I will circle around. Clever. 
Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shape. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Your death, Burke.
Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damn brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get them, Shay. We'll need their clothes. You're right. Let's move. <laughs> Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. 
You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember, you raise the flag and I'll raise hell. You there! Stop! Oh, turn you on! What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damned brigands. I make my own luck. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. 
The one with the gardens. Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the Brotherhood. I see. Our mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make it my own look. Now let us cut off the snake's head. Sir, we can confirm. The woman is inside. Perfect. Time to smoke her out. I'll go in and get home. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow.
You have more endurance than I expected, Chief. What is this? Poison. Slows my heart. I have to move. Yeah. That's it. Moving. Keeps my heart beating. You're late. Again, Shay. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I trained you to do this. I expected nothing less. Then why? To give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. I was a fur trader in the Ohio country. Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gautier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. The explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent him my regards? Or... Not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Thank you. 
The Grand Master is pleased, Shay, what you did in New York. Yeah, it's only a matter of time now before order is restored. New York was never orderly, Gist. With hope gone, perhaps. It couldn't have been easy for you, my lad. But you did what you had to do. I keep telling myself that. We are almost rid of the assassins in New York. And it's not as if the Hellcat didn't try to make you wear a pine overcoat. You had no other choice. I chose to cast my lot with the Templars. And we are glad you did, Shay. Who knows? Had you not, you might have found yourself at the end of Master Kenway's blade. Or yours. That's the spirit. Look, Shay, by killing Hope, you not only saved yourself and half of New York from the Assassin's poisons, you also learned the path we must take next. Now our task is simple. Prevent a group of Paper Skull killers from destroying another city. All in a day's work. A long day, Guest. Not to be insensitive, sir, but what did you learn from the departed damsel? That she's cleverer than I even thought. Her whole ruse was to give Liam time to get back to Chevalier. They must have already set sail to a new precursor site. Determined to the end. I must say, I admire the misguided lass. I don't. The assassins won't stop their mad quest. They're desperate to find a piece of Eden. Especially now that half of their brotherhood is dead. Should be nearby, Captain. There may be an alternate route to the west! Anticosti is famed for its shipwrecks. They likely believe no one would venture into such dangerous waters. None but fools and madmen, perhaps? Watch out for those icebergs, Captain. always one for sequence, but he has found this eye a great treasure. I'm sure of it. I don't know. I passed it. What? You! In the bush! Out! Come on, you fucking lazy bones! Catch that man! Back to the bargain. Reisberg. 
No arguments for me. Set sails. Make haste. George's men will take care of those pirates. We've got our own battles to fight. Far closer escape than I'm comfortable with, but we have what we came for. Then we know where De La Verandre's ships are headed? Not quite, but we have the means to find out. We'll need Cook to interpret these maps. Then we should set sail for the coast of Newfoundland. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found Eleved Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code, I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. It is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find a Laverandri. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. I gather you have some history with our friend de Laverandri? A history of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends who embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of the known world. From the brief encounters I've had, I can tell you he's an irascible person. Did you hear that? Cannon fire. Deep within the fog. Could it be the Lavarandri? Perhaps. This is a secret expedition. They won't be keen to leave any witnesses to their voyage. Sir, to fall! Every breath is turning to ice. Careful, Captain. Ship ahoy! A fleet, Captain! We found them! Let us hope we are not too late. They have us at a serious disadvantage. Stayed it on them. Morgan won't let us stay. Right 
Get the maids free! Oh, I've been sent to be 
devil us. It won't slow us down for long. And perhaps it will help to take them by surprise. Where are they? They're within mortar range, that's all I know. Sir, to the fall. Loose, I trip too. Oh, trip those sheets. Top Scarlet, Ryan, Scott. Weaken heat. Loose capsules. It's the gear full. Deliver Andre must have stayed behind to stop us. And no doubt volunteered for the job. Call in the Stutson! I'm hey. hey. Fire! Fire! Hey. Move on! Let's move! We still need to love her Andre's charts!
J'ai pratiqué longuement avec mon fusil. Sauf Cabbage Farmer. Are you still convinced the Templars are right? Convinced to the end. You bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly an... Interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Lavette Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Master Kenway! The Lavelle Andre's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. This would be beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. You! Come! Stop! Just... <laughs> I'll catch up with you one way or another! Mark my word! Yeah. Resistance is not in your best interest. Desist! Go on, Shay. 
I will find another way. You have no business aloft. Down. Down. You can't be here. Else. Return to the ground at once. <laughs> Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss! The young goat! <laughs>
have to bring the damn manuscript and box all the way out here, Liam. The precursor box is safe, Shay. Chevalier took care of that. You'll never find it. Times do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will.
So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Namskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. I'm just saying that Violet did not have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. I can't believe she made you cry like that. She said some very hurtful things. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anime Training Program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. 
I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. Also a Templar. Have been for years. chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. 
I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him. Charles Dorian. Sorry, sir. The palace is closed to visitors at the moment. Please return tomorrow. So I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now. Lucky for him, I can find another way in. when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? Just finishing old business. <sighs> oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand, never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all.
It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold. And your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.